So today um, is going to be the beginning of the natural stone sharpening. Up till now we went through the rough sharpening and foundation work from 200 to 3k on all with the NSK stones and I think we threw in synthetic nibber just to smooth the surface out a bit. And now we're going to go on to the natural stones. If you didn't see the videos up until then, yeah, go back and take a look. And you can see the progression that we went through to get to here. Uh, so today what we're going to do is we have to do a few different things. We need to remove the scratches from the 3K stone, the NSK stone. So we'll do that with a kind of a medium grit natural stone or medium natural stone like Nagura or something similar and we'll test a few to see which work well on this blade and then after that we're going to move on to the finishing stones the finishing natural stones i'm going to also test a few of those stones to see how how well they work on these blades maybe talk about why i'm going to use them and then we're going to start the sharpening process so to start uh, today i'm going to start with uh, this Komonigura to test out. Uh, it's a nice, very consistent, even stone. In the experience I've had before with it, it really works well to remove the scratches from the Hakuto 3K stone. So we're gonna use this one. And the next one I'm gonna use, also this Komonigura. It's slightly rougher than, than this one here, but it has really nice feedback. It's slightly grainy and with a bit of a slurry on the stone it'll help to also remove the scratches but it's great at keeping the hard steel very bright so i think i'm going to test out these two stones first and these are all the stones i use for my work my oh, favorite one is uh, this uh which you can learn it's fine that's my favorite? Well, it's the one that I use the most, all the time. Are you going to use the stone for the Funaki's Kito? I might, um, I might. So I've just been testing this Komanagura on, on the blade. A couple things I'm just looking for. One is how fast and how efficiently it's removing the scratches from the previous NSK stone. On my first few passes on the stone, it's doing a great job and it's clearing up the steel from the NSK. Um, I'm still seeing a few areas, mainly in these hardened areas, hardened spots. I'm seeing a few areas that maybe need more work with this, how they react in these hardened spots on 
the climbing. Hi, Evan. Nick. How's everything? Not, not bad, not bad. Do you finish sharpening? Um, well, I went through a lot of work with this common agora, but I decided it was a little bit too aggressive. It was doing the work removing the scratches from the 3K octal stone, but it wasn't giving me the look that I really wanted. So I decided to actually go back to the Hakuto and possibly uh, Hakuto 6K to S, which is very soft stuff. Get the steel brighter, because actually that's kind of the look I want with this particular blade, and then go to a very, very soft Uchi line. So that's where we're at. Do you already decide the stone Ivan? Yeah, I did. This one here. It's uh, ultra soft, chicken but it also cuts quite fast. It's not the finest stone, but it's definitely finer than the common agora and also the 3K stone. It's nice, it'll be nice for this.
Yeah, it works, I think. Better than the last stone? Oh, yeah, that's right. I chose this stone because it cuts fairly well, but also uh, it'll give me the look that I want. I've tried this stone many times before, and it's always given me a really nice contrast, at the same time bringing out a lot of details. So it doesn't make the hard steel too cloudy. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I think I'll finish both sides of this stone until we move on to the next stone. Good morning, Ivan. Good morning. How's the polishing? Polishing is done. Just looking over it looks looks good. After I had been testing out um, some Nagura that I wasn't so happy with. After the Hakuto stones, the 3K and 6K, I moved on to Uchigamori that I tend to use quite often and they worked really well on this blade. The first one was to remove the scratches from the Hakuto stones, which it did very easily. And then after that, I moved on to a much finer, slightly grainy Uchigamori that was quite soft as well. And that helped to brighten up and smooth out the hard steel and also bring out a lot of the detail in the soft cladding. After I used that stone, the blade looked good, but I was seeing a lot of the detail in the hardened area above the cladding line and some other interesting detail that actually started to come out on the other side of the cladding along here. So what I decided to do was I used a finer Hazuya in the soft cladding to bring out a little bit more detail. And after all that, yeah, the blade looks really nice. A lot of detail, really smooth transitions, really happy with it. You could want to see something really interesting. Okay. <laughs> Look at the two blades. This is obviously finished and this is where we kind of started with different blade, but that's where we started. One's polished, one's rough. Yeah, I guess the main difference is that in the polished blade, the surfaces have been worked on so much and they're so much smoother and, and even than the rough blade that we got. Overall, in the beginning, it was quite difficult, as you may have seen. <laughs> the way that it was rough ground before, I'm seeing a low spot in this area here. Mm -hmm. And then here and here are a little bit thicker, a little bit higher. <coughs> Hard raised area? I'm not really sure what it is actually. Anyway, I have to go back to the 200 for that. Oh, just too much rough sharpening. That part of the finger is on the stone trying to thin out and shape some area. Yeah, I'm just telling you I had to go back to 200. Um, finishing this blade was great. It was a great experience, but it gives me a lot more ideas for the next ones. 
So I'm actually looking forward to starting those quite soon. Yeah, this will be a continuous product sold at Tosho Knife Arts. Are you gonna send to Tosho this blade? Yeah, so this blade um, we're gonna send to Tosho this week. So they should have them in the shop, hopefully by early next week. So if you like this kind of content or this series that we've been working on, um, yeah, please leave a like and subscribe, but also give us a comment on other things you would be interested to see, whether short form or long form, or if you'd like me to go into more detail or you want to see other things that we do, we'd really appreciate that. So we'll see you next year in the next video.